Yo, so, uh, gold, gold beach, uh, British sector, uh, yonder way down there, probably about, I don't know, six, seven K down that way, uh, was Juno, and as you can see, the best thing about gold beach is you got the Mulberry Harbour in front of you, you can see it, the beginning of Mulberry was there, ran all the way along, right the way out, and over and stopped sort of in Aramont, which is over there, which we're going to go to shortly. But if you've ever seen the footage um, of the British troops landing on, on Gold Beach, uh, and you see the front the, the door drop of the uh, of the landing craft, and you've got houses and old house, houses straight in front of them, the square one and stuff like that. Well, that's it there. This is the bit. This is the bit you see on the footage. You know, all the old houses and, and you know, the Germans were in these firing at the lads as they came out, literally giving them rock all so yeah it's a big old beach especially you know now you can see it now that the tide's out which it's coming in uh they had six probably about five six hundred meters and this was all covered in obviously rumbles rumbles niceties normal's niceness all the mines uh everything like that. yeah so like i say these are the houses that the um the germans were firing out of you can see you know the other High elevation, you'll probably find out them ones the portals at the top there, giving the boys rock all. Um, but yeah, so I can zoom in and show you this now. So there's Adam Monch over there, and you can see the beginnings of the of the, the sort of uh, western end of of the Mulberry Harbour. Uh, Point of Hawk is obviously around that corner. You can see all the it's massive, you know, you don't get a look of how wide or how big this actually was until you know the scale of things until I mean look at that until you actually stand here and see it first hand that thing was bloody massive there you get the idea with it as you can see look bloody huge So that was used as the artificial harbour, um, which brought in thousands and hundreds of thousands of troops afterwards, after you know, after it was built or settled in. When it was built, it was smashed to pieces by a big storm, and uh, then had to be rebuilt. It's obviously to get all the troops through, fuel through, supplies through, everything. So we are now at uh, Aramanche, part of the Mulberry there look as you can see, Mulberry Arbor lad. Flak attack, 20 mil flak. So uh, remnants of the, uh, the Mulberry Harbour which is basically False Harbour, uh, built by the Allies and floated across uh, by the Allies in '44. Massive, just made a concrete, made a concrete, floated across. Absolutely mental. You know, this, these things are. Weird. You know, you know seven odd years on, still here. Crazy. Absolutely crazy. So we're at Adamanche. I'd like to go over to that one over there because that's probably one of the flat and poignant ones. But yeah, Paramount is pretty cool. Well, we are on the back end of Gold Beach. Now, the Yanks, Gold Beach being here, the Yanks, basically around that corner, around there, uh, is the start of Omaha. Absolutely mental.
That was obviously one of the big, just flat ones where it's just stack whatever, pull in the tugs, stick a battleship next to it, unload your supplies, drive it away. Mental, isn't it? 